searching for the barrel might have hurt him just a little bit. We'll have to wait and see how uh, that unfolds. But Jetson Andre surfed incredibly well. Take nothing away from the kid. Uh, a, a very well-deserved win if it goes that way. Oh, Jetson Andre hurt his head yesterday in the free surf. Was at the local hospital, and he said he was just already ready to come back to fight. He was always going to surf that heat. So Jetson get. A couple of solid scores that end up on top of Antino. Julian Wilson versus Josh Kerr. Wilson with a nice, cool rhythm to start. He's made the final out here in the past and showing why with that beautiful flow and rhythm. Nice rooftop flow. It lands with the flats to turn around to catch the tail end of Josh Kerr. As we look at Josh Kerr's win. Yeah, Kersey, uh, I mean, these guys have been sitting around pretty much most of the morning watching some incredible waves go through. And I'll tell you what, there are some crazy barrels down the end here. Kersey a little bit too deep on that occasion, but have a look at that wave as it just peels down. I've been jumping out of my skin here this morning watching the lineup. Julian Wilson, why is this guy so good here? It is that bottom turn, top turn combo. He's got that flow. The judges are loving the flow. I think if you can connect your turns, keep that down the line momentum I think you're in for big scores so Julian Wilson identifying that and there's that bottom turn top turn combo that bodes him so well and that uh, end maneuver there is so important to stick it so Julian Wilson finding a bit of flow finding some rhythm here this morning at Jeffreys Bay up across the magnitudes beyond that at Kitchen Windows where there's a lot of great free surfs going on we're at the best part of the point Josh Kerr knows it nice searing layback hack to kick this one off Setting up the barrel, nice and deep. That one's gonna shut him down. You talk, talk about Kersey too, but uh, before that, let's have a look at Julian's wave. And this is the 7.67. Now, uh, we've seen some great tube rides this morning, but some of the best scores so far have come through maneuvers. And, and Jeffrey's Bay, a big drawn out wave. The judges are looking for that speed management. They're looking for that combination of major maneuvers. They're looking for that flow between the turns. And Julian Wilson clicked every single box right there, finishing off nicely at the end, and a great score of a 7.67. But came on tour, fell off, had to requalify, fell off again, and then once he got back on again, he remained in the top ten for four consecutive seasons. Julian up, building some board speed down the line, beautiful bottom turn, projection hack off the roof. Another wind up, down car will set up another bonus closeout section to stomp down. Kersey's got a wide open pit. Nice and deep. Kersey looking for the exit and he's got it. After bringing up Pod says, we'll watch this one one more time. What was your favorite part about this wave? Well, I mean, uh, okay, you look at it, there, there was not much else really he could have done. This wave was, you know, fast, it was down the line, he's nice and deep. You can see him the whole way though. That's the only down fall I think that's going to come out of that situation. I mean, that would have felt good. It would have looked great from the water right there. You look like he looks like he's super deep, sneaking out of the end there. Stylish exit for Josh Kerr. But in saying that, let's have a look at Julian Wilson's wave. Now, this wave is uh, scores start, starting to trickle in. It's going to be a great backup for Julian. It's going to put him in a really good situation. Timing is everything here at Jeffrey's Bay. Beautiful opening maneuver. Now he starts to hit the gas, racing down through the impossible section. Beautiful hooking maneuver straight off the bottom and into that finishing turn so not as good as the 7.67 but it's going to be a great score nonetheless you just count on your fins you're so used to it that just showcases his balance and technique wilson big carb to float hard off the bottom full wrap off the top already perfect to his start and rhythm of this wave looking to improve on a 6.0 as he belts it off the lift Stretches out the float, stays on his feet. We'll see if he improves on that total out front. You've got to respond to what that wave's allowing you to do. And I think the best guys are the ones that are, are creative, under pressure in those moments of spontaneity. Julian Wilson, nice searing turn there, just smooth, clean arcs. There is no glitches in between his maneuvers. That's what the judges are going to like from Julian. That's what's given him so much success out here at Jeffrey's Bay. Save his spot on tour. Back to this one with Kersey up. Nice clean down carb wrap. Nice vertical to follow. Now it's starting to race track. Clean flow. Now here comes another nice top turn rapid cutback. Kersey layback jam. 
Another healthy looking phone climb for him to wow. put that one to bed. One seven three is long gone and fight for Julian's lead. That was better from Josh Kerr. Um, and now Kersey working his way back out. Let's see how close he got here to 7.35 pots. Well, I'm almost calling this could be Josh's best wave. I mean, nice opening maneuver. You can see just taking his time with it. Try not make any mistakes. Keep that board moving down the line. You've got to have that down the line speed momentum. You heard Richie Porter a couple of days ago talk about speed management. Talk about combination of manager maneuvers. Talk about finishing off your waves. And that's exactly what Josh Kerr did. So. 1.73 is the second highest score at the moment, so he's definitely going to improve his situation. Never know what's going to happen next, like right now with Julian up. Building speed, looking for his first turn, and oh. blows that board off the top, and he's down. They don't do that many rail changes. They seem to be able to understand the speed flow of the wave and where the juice is in a wave through their feet. So they do a lot less turns, a lot less rail changes. But when, uh, when both of them really get back on the tail and they stop the rail changes and get into the deep calves, that's when they get the big scoring uh, opportunities from the judges. You can see both of them here. As soon as they stop that uh, kind of rail change, they can really lay that rail over and carve it up. And that's certainly what uh, the judges are looking for. They're looking for absolutely committed maneuvers. And they're looking for, when Richie Porter said to me on the first day, we don't want safe surfing. Let's see if he can capitalize to get a 7-3-5 in the lead here. Nice clean setup turn. He's going to pull in. Easy exit for Kersey. Resetting for another opportunity in the barrel. And Josh Kerr's locked in. Bonus section's going to race in front of him. Now Kersey's got a hustle. Josh looking to pop out. And that one's just going to race through impossibles without him. You need to ha have your foot on the gas as opposed to the brake. Now, you see him come down the bottom. This is perfect positioning right here. And then fades right down, wiping off as much speed as he can, slowing himself down yet again. Now, I think maybe the, uh, the perfect option would have been to speed up. Why? Because look at the section right there. Just a little bit behind. Had he been another four or five foot in front, he would have come flying out of that thing. So opportunity gone begging right there for Josh Kerr. That could have been an excellent score. You can see from the water, Josh Kerr just looking for the barrel. I mean, it's uh, one of those days where you could get the wave of your life out here at Jeffreys Bay, but you're in a heat. you got to try and make those waves. Julian also having a look on the wave after Kersey here, Bob. Yeah, Julian just trying to do the same thing. The set kind of hit the reef perfectly to uh, pull into the barrel. That one again running away from Julian. So both guys looking for the barrel, both guys coming unstuck. The score's not going to be relevant following season made multiple finals she was in the final with owen right at fiji when owen had two tens besides the one here at j bay with mick as we see him stretching out this right hand wall controlled car plenty of speed hits it off the lip oh. and he goes down you're expecting to do well you're at your world championship to a surfer you go up against cubase guys and you don't get a good result that could almost work against you sometimes Let's have a look and see what happened with Julian Wilson. All down the line, speed, and you can see just leaning. Get too much pressure on the front foot, caught that inside rail. Julian's got him before it lowers in the quarters. That's the latest they've ever met in an event. And he's got him here at Jeffreys Bay as we close this one out. Wilson, a former finalist at Jeffreys Bay, takes this one into round three. Mom is proud of that performance. And on the other side, the tough year continues for Josh Kerr with another equal 25th as this really marks as the halfway point of the tour pots.